Me back again. Mm. So previously, I've done a reaction video to this video. And I was thinking about something over the last few months. Oh, it's one of my brethren. Done a reaction video to this. And something happened yesterday. And when I was watching the playback, because when I make these videos and I have to watch them back myself, I figured to myself, it can't just be me. It can't just be me that thinks this. I truly believe men, for the most part, it's not that we're boring. Okay, we like to live simple lifestyles and that, you know? But it's not that we're boring. We just don't enjoy going to restaurants. I swear, it's not just me that finds going to restaurants a load of bullshit and a fucking waste of time, blood. So basically yesterday, sorry, Friday, I said to my girl, we're going to go to a restaurant on Saturday. Saturday came, I said, look, let's just go tomorrow because Saturday it was just raining and that. And I don't, I'm a black man. I don't like going out when it's raining. Yeah, I made a sugar. Yeah, man, sweet and them thing there. So when I go out, I melt. You understand what I'm trying to say? So I don't like when it going out when it's raining. Innit? So I said, we'll go out tomorrow, which was Sunday. And then Sunday came and my girl said to me, oh, um, her sister and her sister's partner, they're also going to be going out to a restaurant. Now, they live far away and that. So it's not like we're going to do some double date business or whatever, innit? But she just said, oh, yeah. My uh, sister and her boyfriend are going to go out for a meal and that. And then, um, I can't remember, a few hours later, my girl said to me, look, Jay, I've had a long week this week. I don't even really want to go out and that. And I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, she was like, can we just order in instead? I was like, no problem. I even gave her a hug. <laughs> yeah, Because I don't like going out to restaurants. I think it's a fucking waste of time. I cannot be the only man on planet Earth that thinks like this. Anyway. Prior to this, months and months ago, I said to my friend, because he's always going out at like, fancy restaurants with this girl and that. I said to him, yo, is it you that really wants to go to these restaurants and that? Or is it your girl kind of not applying pressure? But you understand what I'm trying to say. She's the one that's pushing to go to this restaurant. He said, yeah, it's her. I don't even really like going out to this restaurant. I was like, oh, thank God. I thought it was just me being boring and that. Men, for the most part, we don't like going to restaurants and that. But let me just quickly play this video for you and then I'll talk at the end. Do you feel like, oh, you know, when you look in my eyes, do you feel like I just want to hold you or something? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Well, you put me under pressure. I met Anya on a dating app. On our first date, we went for a long walk and got to know each other. We had a really good conversation and we had a, a spark, we had a connection. It went wrong when Anya just had enough of me not being a good boyfriend. When I asked him to take me out to go to a restaurant or to go to the cinema, he said that he can't be bothered to. I didn't want to do nothing with her because I was embarrassed of myself. I've always had a stammer. I would never say it was because of my stutter. I would just say I didn't want to do it. How are you doing? Hey. Right, I don't know how true that is about, oh, he was embarrassed about his stammer. That's why he didn't want to go out to restaurants and that, yeah. I'm calling bullshit on that. But, like, all right, fair enough. Oh, he didn't want to take me to go out to the cinema. A cinema could be kind of like a fun experience and that. Because me, I, I don't mind going to cinema and that. Not that I do. I don't think I've ever been to the cinema with my girl. But I like watching horror films and that because I like thrills and that. Um, so cinema, yeah, that could be something that I wouldn't mind doing and that. But. Going out to eat at a restaurant, I think it's fucking bullshit, blood. I hate the idea of going out to sit in a restaurant and that. Don't get it twisted. I'm not 100% opposed to doing it, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Cinema, going to, out to the restaurant is dead, blood. I'm the type of man. You see, when I go out to a restaurant and that, I will go to the restaurant. I'll have in my mind what I'm going to eat. More than likely, I'm going to go to a style of restaurant that I've been to before. Like, I won't go out to some random fish restaurant. No, I'll go to the sort of restaurant that I'm familiar with. Even if I haven't been to that particular branch or that particular franchise or restaurant, if I'm going to a Turkish restaurant, I know I'm going to get the last chicken shish well done in it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just off the top of my head, in it? So I already know what I'm going to go and eat. I'll go and sit down and at the, the waiter will come and say, oh, would you want whatever in it? I'll order and that. Boom. After I've paid for my... After I've ate my food, I'll call the waiter over. Yeah, I'm ready to pay and that. I told him, remove the fucking service charge. I do not pay service charge. I'm not a punk, blood. See, there's certain people, maybe certain of you lot watching this right now, unfortunately, you lot will pay the service charge because you don't want the awkwardness that comes with it. I don't give a fuck. 
I'm Jay Wise, blood. Man, no, yeah, I don't give a fuck about no awkwardness and that. Now, maybe if it's someone's birthday party or whatever, and they're having a restaurant, maybe I don't want to upset them or whatever, innit? Fine. But if it's me organising the local eat-out, or it's a small local eat-out and that, oh, I ain't paying no fucking service. I don't give a fuck, blood. So anyway, they'll come, tell them, move the fucking service. I ain't no punk. And um, yeah, after that, I'll be looking to keep it moving. Some people, like my mum said to me, ah, oh, like, what's the matter with you and someone else? She was talking about it too with me at one time. She was saying that, why do, you, why do you men just like to eat and then run? Yeah, what the fuck am I sitting around for two hours after the meal? Even certain, even time, even right now, certain of these restaurants and that, they give you like an hour and 45 uh, minute limit, you know? So you can't, after an hour and 45 minutes or hour and a half, they say, no, you got to go kind of thing because too much people left unchecked will be sitting there after two hours after they've ate their meal and that. I'm not interested in sitting in no fucking restaurant and that. And if I'm going to be 100% honest, I think it's actually a feminine thing to want to go out and sit and eat at a restaurant all the time. Think about it this way, yeah? Every now and then, yeah, you might see a table full of men, yeah? Five, six boys, whatever. In here. They're going out to sit at a restaurant and eat. Cool. You also go out and see a table full of gyal and that. More than likely, the man them that you see sitting around eating and that, that's a once in a lifetime thing they do. Every once, once a year, they might go out and eat. And if you do see a bunch of men sitting out eating, it's probably one of the man them's birthday as well. But let's say it's not. Once in a while, they will go out, six men and that, and they'll go out and eat at a restaurant and that. For the gyal them that you see, that's something they do all the time. Think about it this way. If you knew a man that all the time, every two months, he's going out with his friends to eat at a restaurant, all six, eight of them deep, wouldn't you think that that's kind of feminine? Like that's, that's the sort of thing that gyal them do. Only gyal like to sit at restaurants and eat food. Man, we don't give a fuck about sitting at restaurants, but it's bullshit. It's dead blood. I swear it might even be something to do with the female psyche, you know. Like, they want to go out to a restaurant and that because they want to be served by somebody. You know, peasants don't get served. People who are in high authority and, you know what I'm saying, high status people get served and that. And women, they all think they're high status and that. So that's probably why they want to be served at a restaurant. That's why they want to go out and eat. They don't want to lift a finger, but they want people to come and serve them and treat them and put them on a pedestal and that. I'm not interested in going out to eat at no damn restaurant. I think it's bullshit. I think it's a waste of time, blood. Obviously, I'll do it now and then because, you know, you have to take the woman out or whatever in it. But for me, for the most part, I'd rather be in my house. I'd rather be in my house than go to some rascal out, stupid-ass restaurant, have to be around people and stuff. Because I know someone's always going to be doing something, something dumb as well in my presence. But, yeah, I just want to make this quick video on that. Comment down below if you're a man and you do not I repeat, you do not like to go to restaurants and eat. Comment down below if you're a man, if you think going out to restaurants to eat is a waste of fucking time. And that's it for today. Stay wise. Done.